Hello, and welcome to Flippin' Fantastic. I'm Mo87 Official. And I'm Amy, Beach by Repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget who you are. I know, yeah. It is. That's crazy. <laughs> I gotta say my name. <laughs> Think about it. Um, yeah, so, how you been? I've been, uh, week? it flew by. It, it literally yeah. flew by. Just For so real? much going on. Yeah. How, how about yours? It was, it was okay. It's okay. Yeah. Uh I've been listing a lot. So That's good. Um it doesn't seem like a lot like my number. My number doesn't go up because I sold something. Well, that's the most important. <laughs> who, who cares about your listing number, you know? I I sold four things over the weekend. That's awesome. That's a lot that's a lot for me. And then that's uh great. I sold two things yesterday yeah um so that's good uh, like i said that's good for me i'm getting like back into at least a sale a day or more so what kind of stuff did you sell over the weekend i sold an old camera of mine mm-hmm. so that sold pretty quick for i was that was a big that was 250 so that made my weekend oh that's good <laughs> I bought a new camera last week, so <laughs> like, uh, what kind of camera? We evened out. It's like, like a, a little. A... It's like a. It's like an action camera, but it's not like a GoPro. It's uh, you hold it, or you can oh. connect it to stuff. But it's got like its own gimbal. Yeah, oh, okay. So it's for YouTube, um, like it's... a YouTube camera. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, okay. It's, um, it's called DJ. That's what I sold. I sold the DJ DJI pocket two and this is a dji pocket three i upgraded it was worth the upgrade on this one like you know how sometimes like it's not so yeah that's good i did um that's awesome i so i sold the old one i had had i did this thing a couple weeks ago market research that's all i'm allowed to say i'm under conf uh confidential I signed a confidentiality clause or whatever. Oh, um, you Mo Mo is fancy over here. <laughs> yeah, but um, it, if you're looking for if you're looking for if you got some free time and you're looking for a quick buck, uh, look look those kinds of things up. It popped up on my Facebook and I was like, oh, and it was it was either one or two days, and they pay you. Three hundred dollars for one day, and it was five. And there's different ones, but this was I, this one was one of the max payouts. Y- you would have got five ninety nine for two, you know, because they won't they don't want to do the six hundred because they got to send you paperwork, and, you know, uh-huh. tax paperwork. Um, but I, they only kept me for one day, so I got three hundred dollars. But they don't. That's the other thing. They give it to you in a gift card. If you if you want to get it like into your PayPal or bank account, they charge you like a six percent fee or something, uh-huh. which is a decent a chunk of money on you know three or yeah. six hundred dollars. So, so what did it have to do with this camera that you got? Oh no 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 no! Oh, no, I thought that's what <laughs> I thought that's what you were no. saying. You were doing a research for that camera. Oh no 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 oh. no 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 no! It was gotcha. that's I just I had I had a three hundred dollar gift card. I was oh. like, I think I'm gonna upgrade this camera now. So, oh okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I used you, that toward the camera. Oh my gosh! I thought you were doing like some uh, R and D for no. uh, uh, DGI or something. No. That would be awesome, though. I would I, be up for that. I, 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 hey, I'm sold looked, on it. <laughs> but, uh, but like, I, I don't. The one I did is was called. Well, the 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 people that did it, it was, was called like Nelson Recu- Recruiting or something. Okay, but I don't know if they're just around here or if they're everywhere. But it, I don't know. It popped up. I was like. Uh, you know, I got some time to kill in the afternoon, or it was morning to afternoon. Uh huh. I was like, I'll sign up. I'll sign up and see if they call me. I actually signed up for a different one, but then um, they called me for another one. So, but anyway, it was cool. It was. Did neat. you have to I go somewhere about it? Did you have to go somewhere? I, 
Yeah, I had to go to the Hilton. <laughs> oh, okay. Hilton conference room. <laughs> oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. And then they, you know, so it's a whole thing and they ask you questions. And Did you get paid at the end with your gift card or did they have to mail it to you? No, they, they email and, you know, they have one of those things like you could pick from all the different, you could get a Visa gift card or like an eBay gift card or an Amazon mm -hmm. gift card. So, yeah. Very cool. So that was um, interesting. And it was a quick, it was a, it was a very easy $300. <laughs> wow. Wow. So it was, it was worth it. Oh, and was they, there a lot they of people? Fed us. They fed us breakfast oh. and lunch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's probably about 50 people there. That's cool. Inter but, that's um, interesting. So when, uh, when, like, yeah. When can you talk about it? Never. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Oh. I don't think so. I mean, oh. maybe at some point uh, because of what it was, but not now. Oh, oh! I could wow. get into big trouble. <laughs> you, you yeah. could. We're going to be bailing you out of jail. The, say that. <laughs> lots of lawyers involved. Let's just say that. Um. <laughs> oh. Huh. But yeah, so that's a, wow. a uh, if you're if you're if you need a break from the reselling grind, you know, take a day and go do one of these things. And you get people you can talk to other people, you know, because you're with other people. And did um, you ask them if they had any stuff get that they the weren't house? looking to get rid of? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You guys, they have do, a yard they sale do, anytime soon? Like, they do ask you what you do. Like, so when you apply, you have to take a little, um, you fill out like a little survey, like a, survey. Like a yeah. you know, yeah. And it does ask you what you do. And then I just said, you know, it has one of those things which you pick from. And that said, um, um, retired I just put, like, stripper retail or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know right it said uh <laughs> there there was no other <laughs> the other oh jeez. i think that's the thumbnail can... though <laughs> a pole in the middle of us we have to hold put your hand out so we're swigging it this way <laughs> yeah <laughs> Oh the, goodness! Um, <laughs> That's so the, funny. Uh, <laughs> I don't even remember now. <laughs> oh, I was asking about if reselling what you put in on your questionnaire. You put. I, I oh, assume she, you put retired teacher or something. No, no, it just asks you what if like or if you were like retired. Yeah. I mean, um. I'm technically not retired because I'm not old enough. I can't collect any of those benefits yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that makes sense. But re retired but she from did, it. <laughs> when, when they, when they call, she, so they call you afterwards. She called me. She's like, are you available this day? Can you go? And she asked me, she's like, I have to put, like, I have to put an employer. I said, well, I'm self-employed. She's like, well, what, did, what, do you, what does it you do? I said, well, I sell stuff on online, like on eBay. And she's like, but I have to put, like, do you have a store? <laughs> I had to give her my store name. She said, my well, 87 official? She, yeah. <laughs> she, had to, she had to put something in there. I was like, that's so weird, but. You should have told her that you had a podcast. And then you could have told all I, of those podcaster. people. <laughs> yes. And then you could have told all oh. of those people and they would have subscribed. That's what you podcast. should have done, Mo. You have a whole. uh. Like hundred, we might have got a couple of your followers come on over. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a couple of new people. Oh, <laughs> it's fantastic! I don't think... <laughs> we we could have had it. We could have fifty from your little <laughs> thingy. <laughs> Told them oh, all no. to subscribe. <laughs> For oh, real, goodness. that's too funny. So, what else did you sell besides that camera? Um, I don't even remember. Because I like Did hearing you sell this. anything good? I'm trying to look. Uh, I sold... Uh, 
well, I went. Well, well, I looked to see what I saw. <laughs> we went sourcing, you know, this weekend, and mm -hmm. um, we. I don't know how much we bought. We probably we didn't buy a lot. Um, I'm gonna say maybe ten things, and we sold yeah. three. I sold three of them already. Oh, that's awesome. I know. I was uh, <laughs> super stoked. I made all the money back I spent this weekend. Um, nice. Yeah. Nice. It was it was nice. It was I was pretty happy. I bought um Do you know those um they they're, they're like vintage reflectors that go on your Christmas tree lights. You know, they're shaped like a star and you po you like pop them. They're aluminum foil basically. Shaped like a star and you pop them onto your Christmas lights and it reflects the light oh, out. Oh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, found found, I found those in the original box and it said made in Japan. Oh, nice. So yeah. uh, I found mm -hmm. those at like an estate yard sale for like, yeah. I think I spent like 250 on them. And those sold for mm -hmm. 28, I, I don't know, 28 or 29. Or maybe, maybe not. I don't know. In the 20s. Yeah. They sold in right. the they sold in twenty minutes. So wow, nice. I was thinking that maybe I listed them a little too low. <laughs> <laughs> and I That's sold, awesome. yeah, I sold. Um, I bought some bakugans. Do you know what those are? Those mm -hmm. little those little tiny balls that like transform yeah. and open up. Right, there's a whole yeah, lot of them. Up. I bought those this weekend, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. I sold those within a day. And um. Oh, Legos. I um I bought a box <laughs> of Lego Ninjagos and yeah. I sold those the same day too. So, nice. and and some other stuff like nice. You know, but that, I was stoked to I like selling the stuff that I just bought, you know. Yeah. It, yeah, it makes it um you know, it's nice cuz I get all, I recoup all of my money. But yeah. yeah that's awesome. That's and awesome. And some other stuff like um like military parkas, um, some oh, yeah. spark plugs. I bought a ton of spark plugs at an estate sale, like a ton. And oh wow, um, I sold a Blu-ray. It sold in like two days. Okay, mm -hmm. and I sold that for like forty bucks. It's just like a, a lot of two. It's like um, yeah, I don't know who they are. Something about the Titans. I don't know. And oh, and I also sold something from uh, Jess resold a ride. I bought something on one of her dibdits. Oh yeah, it was mm -hmm. uh, a Hello Kitty. Yeah, uh, Hello Kitty, but it's like French fries. I don't know. Yeah, pl it's, plush, right? Yeah, it's a plush. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there, you put the French fries in the Hello Kitty. It's super uh -huh. cute. <laughs> it's super cute. Yeah, I sold that too. I think it was like forty, thirty. I don't know. I can't remember. It seems so long ago, <laughs> but that was over the weekend. But what, nice. what did you sell? What did you sell? I sold that camera. I sold a vintage Minnie Mouse, like little kid's necklace. That sold really quick. Oh, okay. Um, It's just plastic. It's like kids. It's Avon. It was Avon. It sold like a day. Oh. Oh, and I sold, I had a... Uh, um, An old Pyrex, um, you know, percolator, the glass. Oh, uh huh. And I sold the inside. I don't have the stem. Now I had, I had um, two of these. One I bought, and one I think has been in my basement. It came from my grandparents' house, mm -hmm. and I don't know why I kept it. <laughs> I have other things from them. The um. I had one with the stem, but it was it was busted. So that old one. But I, this was like the basket. It's glass oh, okay. with metal parts. I sold that. The, the funny thing is, is the camera. I got I I priced it. They were selling around two twenty five, right? Because mm -hmm. the new one came out, so they're less than what they were. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna price it at two fifty because I have some extras with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a couple things that went with it that I threw in. Um, I said I'm gonna price it at two fifty, and I'll I'll take like two twenty five right away if they offer. It. Well, somebody right away came in at two twenty, and I was like, oh, I'll probably just take it. You know? Yeah. And while I was 
serious literally just waiting like i was like okay let me you know let me think about it for a minute mm -hmm. sold full price hey <laughs> sold that's full awesome price. same with the um the pyrex basket thing I, I that was just if you have the long you know like stem like that it looks like a funnel but it's not it's a stem uh -huh. that thing sells like really fast and for a lot more money but um this is the glass basket with metal 20 bucks and uh so the some, basket i kept i got like two offers for like ten dollars yeah wow and i'm like i'm not selling it for 10 because they are selling for 20 uh-huh and then boom sold for a full price like wow. a minute later that's crazy i was like oh i, li I like that when it sells for a full price <laughs> right but i what did does... get a lot of ten dollar hmm? offers oh no you got a lot yeah. of ten dollar offers yeah what does the um you said the funnel thing in the middle what it's does a, that normally not, sell it's for like, it's a um i don't know more oh really because that's I something i don't know about and i never look for you know let me look one up yeah that's it that's um you know you those are probably the things that i look past and people yell at me in you know the comment section and say you missed it yeah. So there's different um I mean I guess it is a funnel. Uh it depends on there's different sizes. There's like a four cup size, mm -hmm. a nine cup, a six cup, um let me see. Yeah, like this a nine cup one sells for like forty five bucks. Oh wow, that's a that's that's cool. Yeah. And I have to um, keep my eyes out. One, there's another one for 60 bucks. They're wow. pretty fragile. Uh huh. I, but see, some people are selling them for less. Like, so, well, that's a that's because it was a what, uh, auction, twenty eight dollars. Like, why would you sell it for twenty eight dollars when you could get fifty? Or maybe they think who I don't. Knows? So, I, I don't understand people. <laughs> but yeah, like the the most recent one sold uh, on the ninth for forty five dollars. So wow. Yeah, be on the lookout for them. Be on the lookout for them. I, I, like I said, I had one, but it was broke. Um, wow. But yeah. I have the, I had like two of the baskets, and I have, cool. and so I sold that separately, and I have the, the actual coffee pot for sale too. That that one will take. Mostly people like people need those inside because they're more fragile and they break, you know. Right. Um, but the pots do sell, just not that fast and uh, the one i have is in good condition so you know set it and forget it i put it up so wow that's awesome we'll see if it sells and, and that sells for like 20 to 30 bucks i think the pot jeez you can part that out and get 100 bucks it sounds like yep mm -hmm. wow. yeah if you had this if you had the stem yeah yeah um that's, that's i had pretty good i had bought that pot at a church sale this you know like a month ago or something um nice very cool but yeah so so what what were so, you listing? What kind of stuff were you listing? Any clothes? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I do I do have some ready to go though. I don't yeah. I think I'm just going to hang them up and list them. Yeah. Um I do have some ready to go. I did a lot of organizing. I did inventory. I uh all that stuff that I said I hadn't put away, I put away. So everything's um I mean there's still stuff on my floor here, but that's not listed. I got all my listed stuff put away. That's so. good. I have, I listed pots and pans and some dishes and I don't know, a bunch of other stuff. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely, uh, you definitely see, it, you know, an increase in your sales when you're listed, you know? Oh yeah. I mean, it's just go, crazy. Go figure. <laughs> I, I mean, well, you know how sometimes you're like, Ugh, and then you see it like three days later, it like finally kicks in and it's like, whoa, right. I listed all that stuff and I'm getting a bunch of sales, you know? Yeah. I know. I where my light went out. Uh oh. My light went off. I don't know why. Oh, I know why. Cause I moved my table and <laughs> got, it got um bumped. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So did, have you seen any cool artwork at like estate sales or thrift stores or anything that you ever think about picking up? 
I I've picked up artwork before, but I don't not I didn't go sourcing this weekend. I was you didn't. I had something to do Sunday. Mm-hmm. There wasn't much going on. Um there wasn't any good estate sales. There was one estate sale around here. It was at a it was it was a it was a jewelry shop liquidation. Like a fine jewelry, like one of those places that sells all the Waterford and China and everything. Yeah. And I was like, that's like out of my price range at the moment. Right. And um Um There were there were a couple garage sales like around here, but not they didn't look too great. Yeah. Not not in the greatest neighborhoods. And I have so much to list. So I was like, I'm just going to list. So I Saturday, that's, I took that's a bunch of pictures. And so I had something else to do Sunday. So, yeah. yeah. I know. Our, um, we, norm- we had been having a bunch of community yard sales around here. Yeah. And mm-hmm. there was none. Oh, no. There was one, but it wasn't advertised. We just happened to drive by it, but we didn't drive by it until like noon. Noon, we saw the sign. Oh, no. I don't know why they didn't advertise it on like any of the, you know, the apps or Facebook or Craigslist or anything. So we just did the like, you know, the one offs that we went to, but we didn't, we filled, we didn't even fill up a tote. Like I keep a tote in the back of my car. Yeah. We didn't even fill it up. Not that much. No. Yeah. But it's okay. It was all good stuff. So Mm -hmm. I'm happy. And and, and like I said, three of the things already sold. So. Yeah, that's awesome. I know. And then. Yeah, um, we don't. Community sales here are kind of done. Yeah. Same. That's. It's like May, you know. There'll be some more in the fall, but like (laughs) September, but not many. Usually it's just May. I feel like our we follow the same, you know, sales. Yeah, it's stuff. not it's not like our friends in other places where there's, you know, the garage sale season is like <laughs> Tuesday through Sunday. <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't. I don't, I don't get it. I'm like, what? I know. What? It's just. Conf- I don't understand how people are having garage sales on Thursday when like a traditional work week is Monday through Friday, you know, it's, it's very weird to me. Um, I mean, there's, there's rarely a Friday one around here. Yeah. Same. Same. I know it's, um, there's a, um, rare. I, the only one I can think of, and I did go to it to see it. It's, uh, this lady was down the street from my parents house and she's an older lady and she's basically selling she's basically has a booth in her garage okay oh, it, yeah. nothing was it wasn't garage sale prices it was all fan it was all nice stuff mm-hmm. but it wasn't anything i could resell yeah. and she does it a couple times in the spring like she like all weekend and she's there from like she she sits she sits there and knits <laughs> oh gotcha. from like eight to four she's like i just don't understand why people because mostly garage sales are done like by one around here like mm-hmm. eight to one yeah sometimes noon sometimes two but i don't understand why people end so early i'm like are you even selling anything <laughs> <laughs> and you're just sitting in your garage i don't know she but... just maybe she has it priced just so people will come talk to her and then she doesn't. Have I don't to get know. Rid maybe of it, I you mean, know. If you, if you, if you happened onto her sale, and you weren't like it, her prices were fine. If you wanted something for yourself, mm-hmm. I mean, and it was a lot of vintage stuff. Like, but it like looked like it wasn't. Ness, it wasn't a garage sale. This was stuff she bought to sell. Like that's what I think. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like a booth. <laughs> yeah, it was a booth. It yeah. was a booth in her garage. It was right. a booth in her garage. I get it. I, I've uh, yeah. I've stumbled across a couple of those, and you know, every yeah. year mm-hmm. we go back, I see the same stuff, and it's yeah. <laughs> and it's priced high. You know, it's not priced yeah. for resellers. Uh-huh. So right, yeah. Mm-hmm. I get it. I totally get it. I don't know. So I um, did you pack your um orders up? <laughs> 
Did you sell anything last night? Did you have to pack anything? Yeah, I uh, I have to go pack one other thing. I'm not taking it to the post. I'm going to take it to the post office. Yeah, I sold a cookbook like last night, like after I was like, I wasn't going back down there. Um, yeah. That's uh, cool. I so- and I sold a dish, but when I was down there taking pictures and listing, I sold yeah. a dish. So I packed it up then and there. I was like, I'm just going to pack this now. Uh huh. Because I'm running low on bubble wrap, so I'm going to have to get some. Um, uh oh. But and then, so- of course, I sold something else. So, so that's good. So yeah. you're going to take it instead of doing porch pickup? So <laughs> I know we, t- we touched on this, and I never did porch pickup i had like we were going through mailmen like you know we were mm-hmm. like the after like there was just somebody filling in all the time right after our long time mailman retired but that was before i started reselling there's a the post office near me is not my post office it's like it's not my zip code but it's only like a mile and a half away. I'll mm-hmm. take stuff there. They have one of those bin, you know, they have the box. You can put your packages in. Yeah. They're also very nice and don't care. Like there's <clears throat> the one, you know, the one little spot. Like the teller. I don't know what they're called. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Has an extra shelf space. And they're always like, if you're just dropping it off, put it there, put it there. My post office, which is farther away, they are mean. They make you wait in line. And they don't, like, even when you're dropping stuff off, they want to ask you, like, the 50 questions, you know? Oh, Anything gosh. hazardous, anything this. And I'm like, no, that's why I bought this online. Yeah. So I wouldn't be, like, I wish, I wish they would put a bin in there. It's not very, it's not that big, though, so I don't know where they, put, but they could put one. But, uh. Uh-huh. I don't know, like, years ago, so I resold for a little while, many years ago, and the the lady that was always there, I'm assuming she was, like, the postmaster, she was super nice, and she was always like, honey, just drop it off over there, just drop it over there, Mm -hmm. if I was at that post office. Well, I used to go to that post office all the time, because back then when I sold, people would say you have to take it to your own post office because they get mad and blah, blah, blah. If you don't. And I'm like, now I'm like, I don't care. They don't say anything to me at this one. So. Right. Um, I don't know, but that, but they're mean at mine now. Like they're mean and kind of rude. And Uh I hadn't been in there in a long time. (laughs) I went there during the pandemic and, like at a Christmas time and it was a line like a very long line so I kind of slipped by and I was like can I just drop these off no you have to wait in line I was like but I bought postage online so I wouldn't have to wait in line you still have to wait in line I was like bye and I went to the other (laughs) and I only had went there because I was out and about and I was near that post office you Uh know I was like I'm never going in there again I have been in there since but not not really I don't even. But anyway, I don't even understand that. Short. Yeah, I don't either. I don't. Yeah. I don't like. What's the point? Like, it's like part of their thing is like, oh, you know, you it's easy. You buy it online. You don't have to wait in line. Right. Why am I waiting in line? So, long story short, <laughs> I've I've done porch pickup a couple times because we seem to have a steady mailman at the moment he Mm -hmm. comes around 1 1 p.m so i know you know my stuff doesn't get scanned until like eight at night oh he doesn't scan it whereas (laughs) if i drop it off down the street latest it's scanned as five Right. Depending on what time i drop it off Mm -hmm. because they empty the bin you know at certain times 4 30 is the last time so yeah like he can't i only had four things beep 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 like how hard was that a bit <laughs> i know i know have you you know when you fill out that form the night before that says you know come pick it up 
yeah. you know how it's got that section it says like uh where is the package going to be and you click like mm -hmm. at the front door and then underneath you can write yeah. something i yeah. always write thanks for scanning each package i write it every night and does it, it work it does it does work and um the very first time that i did porch pickup Mm -hmm. I, I strategically, like I put all the packages outside, did the floor the night before. And then I was mm -hmm. outside like doing gardening stuff and he uh -huh. came up and was getting my packages. And I said, you know, I played the like dumb blonde and was like, um, <laughs> if, if I do porch pickup, do, will you scan each one of my packages before you put them in the truck? Just so I know. And he's like, oh yeah, I, I do. I do that. And I was like, okay. I said, because one time I, you know, you know, I mean, I had some story about it never got scanned. It got lost. And he's like, no, right. I do it every time. And I said, okay. And I write it in the comments and he scans it. I can hear it from, you know, if I'm inside listing or something, <laughs> right. I can yeah. hear beep, uh -huh. beep, 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 beep. So yeah, this guy doesn't, I've done it a couple of times. He doesn't scan it. Maybe I'll, I'll try that. And I'll put that in there. Yeah. Like I, I understand if I had like a giant thing boxes of stuff yeah yeah you know a million things i have four things and the other times i've had like one or two yeah and i <clears throat> i've put stuff in my mailbox before but the only but i you know when i was only selling like a thing one or two things a day and if they were small i would just put them in my mailbox put the flag up yeah it's in the mailbox right one time they didn't take it Ugh. They shoved my mail in and pushed my packages to the back. I was, but that was before we had a regular mailman. Now, see, I didn't put, I didn't put in for a package pickup, but I figured it's in the mailbox. Right, I'm supposed to take it, and they've always done it before, but that one time they didn't. I do know that. But yeah, if, they don't. If I have smalls and I put in the mailbox, he won't mm -hmm. scan them if they're in the mailbox, but he'll scan them yeah. if they're on the porch. You know. I've had stuff in the mailbox and they've scanned it. Oh, really? <laughs> they scan it from the porch. Yeah. Huh. But that's in the p past. Um, yeah. When I didn't even, you know, I didn't sign up for a pickup. I just put it in the mailbox and they've scanned it. But like I said, we've gone through a lot of different mailmen. Yeah. This guy has been around for like at least a month now. <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe more. Um, so yeah. Like where I turn over. Like, and we're get it's, yeah, I just think it's, um, we had a long time mailman. We had a guy for a while and he was, he was the one, he would scan my stuff if I put it in the mailbox. Um, but I don't, he didn't always come at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I think he was split maybe between a couple different routes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So he was, um picking up like somebody else was out or on vacation he'd do you know what i mean so he wasn't always the same time yeah um, this guy's like i said seems to come at the same time now the only reason i would still do porch pickup if like and they've not i'm not worried about this scan is because i have a ring <laughs> so i know he picked it up so i can be like you picked it up where right. is it right but um yeah but it kind of annoys me. Like I can understand if I had like a ton of stuff that you were picking up. Yeah. But I don't. I don't. I have like you. You can fit. You could. You could fit my boxes on. Stack them up on one hand and carry them. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't and matter. It was all small stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's my beef. That's my beef with them today. So I'm probably. I have. I have errands to run. So I'm going to go to the other post office. Try. That I have out. to. Yeah. Well, yeah, I just drop them off in there. They're easy. Oh, like you I just, said, they have the big, the they have the big bin. You just, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which, uh, and unless my, th unless I have something that's too big or if it's full, because sometimes it is full, a lot of people use that, I think, because there is a bin there. Mm -hmm. um, do you scan them in or do you just put them in no. the key? Oh, you just I throw just it in. in there. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, um, they, they, I, I talk to the guy that picks it up all the time. He's good. And he, he, I, 
I've seen him. He, I've seen him empty it. He goes in the back and you hear beep, beep, beep. So yeah. he's scanning it. And sometimes I've had one, like during Christmas, I've gone in there with a lot of stuff and that's been full. And they, they just open the door, which is right next to it, to the back. And he's like, just stack your stuff there. Like, they're super nice. Like, yeah. where's the other post office? They're like so mean. Jeez. <laughs> it's like a culture of bitchiness over at the other one. <laughs> no way. I don't know. I know. That's just. Yeah, that makes it like not a good experience, you know, when you have to deal with that. Yeah, especially I, I, like every I said, day. I don't go to that one. Yeah, yeah, I don't oh. go to that one. It's just too far away. Yeah. Uh, our our whole we, it's weird around here. Like, um, like I don't live like in a town, and. I'm serviced by like a branch of the Wilming the city post mm -hmm. office. Like it's weird around here. So the one that I go to is a, like a, is a town like, and I live like, you know, actually the neighborhood next to me is that, is that zip code, but I'm not, it's, it's weird around here the way the post office is, but huh. I, I'm glad that I have a nice one. And yeah. I, I don't get me wrong. I'll, I'll keep using porch pickup. I just wish she would scan it. Right. <laughs> You know, yeah. Just so that the like I don't get any like customers like why isn't it scanned? Totally. I haven't had any yet, but I've had it in the past. Actually, one time at the post office that I go to, that I drop off, one time they they made a mistake on one of my packages, and he scanned it as delivered, oh, and geez. not as yeah. So they, it, I literally just dropped it off, and it was. I dropped it off early in the morning. So it got scanned, you know, like by noon mm -hmm. and they were like, it says delivered. They were like texting me or, you know, sending me yeah. messages like a hot minute later. It says delivered. And I don't live in this town. I said, I, I live there. I said, that's the post office. I dropped it off at. They obviously made a mistake and he had it set. His scan set wrong. I said, please give it, you know, the, however many days I yeah. said it, it will get to you. And they kept, they kept saying, I said, listen, please read this. I live there. They accidentally scanned it wrong. I will let them know. I didn't. Right. I said, but it will get delivered to you. <laughs> and I never heard anything. So they got it, but uh, <laughs> That's... it, it result like when they, yeah. when it got delivered to them, it like showed up again, but yeah. But they were like freaking out, and of course it was something like super cheap, like a ten dollar thing. I'm sure it, it always <laughs> is. It always is. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, it always it's is. always the ten dollar. <laughs> no, I had the last. I mean, it's like I have a lot. Uh, the last uh, negative that I got was something mm -hmm. that was like ten or eleven dollars, and I was mm -hmm. like so upset. Not, I, I mean, not really, but I was just like, it's always those cheap items, you know? Right. This right. lady, uh -huh. the lady bought one of those Trader Joe's uh, totes, you know, those reusable totes. And mm -hmm. it was pre-owned. It was completely pre-owned. You could see all the creases and stuff in the listing yeah. photo. Mm -hmm. She bought it. And it was one of the small ones. It was like the really small ones. Oh, those like little mini ones. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So she said she bought it and then she sent a message and said, please mail this flat. And I was thinking there is absolutely no way I'm mailing this flat because it would have been, I mean, it wasn't the teeny tiny ones, but you know, right. right. It okay, would have been yeah. a uh -huh. huge, a huge, like big piece of cardboard sandwich. And I right. was like, no, I'm not doing that. Because it was already creased. It wasn't brand new. So right. I took a pool noodle and I rolled it around the pool noodle. Yeah. And then I put uh -huh. it, uh, I don't even remember. I think I put it in a poly. And, but I put saran wrap it, or saran wrap around it, rolled it up, put it in the poly and sent it off. Because it was- Like you did way too much for that $10 item, yeah. right? <laughs> she got it. She left me negative And she said- um, the what did she say something like the the seller folded this when i asked her not to and i thought technically i didn't fold it i rolled it you but it, roll had, it. it had been folded many times <laughs> like it uh, but i just thought i should have canceled that order when she said that you know like my gut right. told Which, me 
to do what's it. What's she like, doing? Is is she uh, framing them? Is she just, I know, right? It's <laughs> so weird. <laughs> I mean, maybe she thought it was one of those uh, ones that you saw, Mo. Oh, yes. So. Well, <laughs> that was my lead in. Good segue. <laughs> segue. So let. So let's let's try the share. This is the bolo people. Go to Trader Joe's and uh and um look for this thing. <laughs> because apparently they're selling for um they're selling for like fifty to a hundred dollars. Oh so they're, yes, like, they're like they're like Coolers, yeah, like little soft um, coolers. Wait a minute, does that say three dollars and ninety nine cents? Yeah, that's how much they cost at Trader Joe's. And it says it says mini, so yeah. What it says? Trader wow. Joe's treasure hunt. It says mini. I don't go to Trader Joe's very often because it's not like I'm not a go to ten different right. stores. <laughs> Like I, I know people that do that. I am my mother in law used to do that. Like, you know, where every she'd map out where stuff was on sale and coupons and go to uh -huh. so I don't go up because it's too far away. Right. I have like a couple grocery stores right near me. But um but yeah. Wow. Go so they're probably are, they're probably sold out now. <laughs> and what but, did you uh, say? You saw they're selling for how much? It says they're selling for let me I can't scroll down now that I had it for fifty to a hundred dollars. There we go. Wow! Fans are expressing their excitement, while others are reselling the product on eBay and Facebook for fifty to a hundred. That's I, pretty good. <laughs> but I saw a whole like TikTok. Um, okay, let me get this. Stop. Okay, I saw a whole TikTok once about <laughs> this girl. Like, so she said her. Somebody called her out. They said millennials' whole personality is where they shop or something. Okay, uh, like, and she she was like, "Is it? Is it?" And she was wearing like all all Aldi clothes. Oh like, my gosh! So, like actually <laughs> bought at Aldi, but branded Aldi. <laughs> I mean, it was funny, but I don't know. Like, I don't, I don't. I wouldn't pay fifty dollars for that cooler. No, but anyway, if you see one out in the wild, I wow. maybe grab it. Yeah, I do pick up the um, you know, the reusable totes. Uh, right. Yeah, because because some yeah. of them sell <laughs> sell really well. Like I saw one, mm -hmm. I picked up one. I've I've sold a, a several, but um, when I was at the Goodwill auction, I saw I always find them in the uh, auction totes. Well, I saw one yeah. in the tote, and I knew right away as soon as i saw it that it sells for like 50 bucks this this tote wow so yeah i didn't win it i didn't win that tote but it's <laughs> it's just amazing because people will throw them you know they just throw them away you know they don't know i well also like i don't know i have a bunch of bags <laughs> in the back of my car i don't i don't know it's weird like a uh, trader I'm joe not bags? paying that for a no, just oh, you know, just random reusable. Ones. Yeah, yeah. I did see some cute um, Aldi's um, sneakers a while ago, probably a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. I saw yeah. them online, but they mm -hmm. are super cute. They were like Adidas with the stripes, but it was the Aldi's colors. Yeah. You know, like red. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I saw that too. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted them. I totally wanted them. I think they were like fourteen bucks. Now, I could wear them with my cream socks. Does I I go to Aldi sometimes? There's an Aldi's nearby. Mm -hmm. I like they have they always have the best fruit. Yeah. Um, and I I have to eat gluten free, and I like their gluten free bread. I don't eat bread a lot, but if I do, I get it from there. The um now our Aldi is very small, uh -huh. so there's only like one little aisle with that kind of stuff in it, and it's always like totally picked like there's like two things left yeah like is there a certain day that aldi puts stuff out do you know i don't i don't know that's yeah. where i shop too is aldi's like you shop at aldi exclusively yeah. exclusively unless, yeah. yeah except for mm -hmm. um 
I make our own dog food for our dogs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. I'm I'm that person. But um, <laughs> the the one of the ingredients is like a root blend. Um, you know, uh-huh. like vegetable root blend, and they don't have that at um, Aldi. So I go to Walmart Aldi. And do yeah. That. Yeah. That's it. But I do. I, I buy everything our, at Aldi's. Yeah, our Aldi is is too small. Like I get a, I'll get other stuff there. But there's a lot of stuff you can't get. It's like I said, it's very small. Yeah. Um, like I've seen people shopping online in Aldi, and it's like way bigger than the one we had. Yeah. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I do like it, mm-hmm. and it is the prices are good, and they are. I I know like a lot of that stuff in that aisle goes viral. There was something recent. Oh, the shopping cart. The little one? There was, like, the the little kid shopping cart. Like, people yeah. were, like, going nuts over that. I saw that. There was something else, too, recently. Yeah, I remember seeing it remember. the shopping but cart. I, sw- I swear, every time I've been in there, it's just, there's, there was, when I went in there the last, I went in there, like, a week ago, um, there was, there was a couple, like, dog toys, but, like, they not for my dog, because he would. They were like little for little dogs or something, mm-hmm. you know. My dog would eat them in a second. And um, a little kid pair of shoes, sneakers. They weren't the Aldi ones, but there was nothing. There was nothing left. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, when is this full- filled? I need to ask. When do you like? There's got to be a day I'm that sure. they put stuff out. I'm sure there is. Yeah, yeah. Ours is ours is pretty well stocked. Like I've never yeah. come across anything that they normally carry that's out of stock, but we mm-hmm. do buy those, um, you know, those fried onions that you put on top of like green bean casseroles. Mm-hmm. They, mm-hmm. well, they used to carry them and Matt loves those. Like he will eat them as a snack yeah. and they haven't snack. had them <laughs> yeah, as a snack. He will like, put oh, in his well. hand. but they haven't yeah. had them for the last three weeks. So I'm kind of bummed. I don't know. Huh? I know. It's crazy. I know. I know. Oh, oh no I know snack what... for Matt. No <laughs> snacks. No French onions for he, he needs to eat that. You guys, they must have an amazing gar- garden. Those garlics. Holy moly, that was a lot of garlic. Oh, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it was, I think, like 50. 50 garlics. Wow. Yeah. Matt just harvested our, all of our garlics um, last night. So he was out yeah. there digging them and, you know, taking the soil off. And now they just have to um, dry. I have to put them out in the sun uh-huh. and then they just have to dry. And then we're going to braid them and hang them up till we need them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then we'll use some do of them l- to replant for next year. Er, now, yeah. do they do they last? longer doing that i don't know anything about it. i just know that some i've bought garlic before and like by the time we're not even halfway through like the few that i get <laughs> they're already sprouting <laughs> right yeah i can't grow anything anywhere else but i can grow something i can grow some garlic in my pantry apparently i don't know <laughs> yeah and then just put it in the ground because you can plant <laughs> you can mo yeah you can plant the garlic that you get from the store in, yeah, in the ground I know. uh-huh yeah. But yeah, that's what we do. And we make um pesto <laughs> and you use garlic uh-huh. and pesto. So Yeah, yummy. We make a lot of it and then we freeze it and then just mm-hmm. eat it throughout the season. Yeah, it's really good. Nice. And we grow basil. We have lots of stuff, but and uh we also make pesto from celery. You can use the green like the 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 uh, the leaves. The of leaves the, mm-hmm, of celery. And oh, we wow. make celery pesto, and it's really good. It's got a different taste, but yeah. I-, I like it. It's really good. Uh-huh. Yeah. Huh. I know. I know. It's super good. Green thumb over there. Not yes. me. I know. Matt's, I'm uh... hoping that the flowers I planted in pots don't die. <laughs> Did you plant them from seed? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's no. crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my no. gosh. So this week when I I mean was... I have before, but I didn't this year. Yeah. <laughs> I just and I have to like we got a lot of trees, so I have a lot of shade, so I have to buy I'm kinda limited and then also what the deer won't eat, so Oh yeah. 
Yeah. We have we, tons of deer around here. Yeah, we have lots of bunnies. And the bunnies, we have to, like, uh, put the little mesh around, you know, the yeah, mesh fen- fencing. fencing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we have to put yeah. the mesh fencing. The mesh fencing. Oh, my gosh. Last year, we were growing... What were we growing there? Oh, we were growing beans. Like, they're called Mother Stollard beans. They get super tall. Like, I mean... Yeah. 20 feet tall, maybe. 14, 20 feet tall. And they were growing against the house. And uh, the bunnies were getting in. So we put the mesh uh, fencing around it. And <laughs> Matt was like, oh my gosh, there is bunny poop in the that area. Which is, you know, good uh-huh. fertilizer. But they were eating the, the beans that they could get to. Beans. So yeah. we were like, how are they getting in there? Mo, I am not kidding. They chewed a little door on the mesh oh my God. i'm not even kidding like you know it's like little grids the mesh is little grids yeah they chewed uh-huh. it and they made a damn door <laughs> they were going <laughs> they were going in and out through there i was just like you can't oh make my this God. stuff up yeah you can't make it up <laughs> now you need like bunny proof chicken wire or something yeah that's they, crazy yeah we need to like um put chicken wire or something around the wooden fence, you know, like yeah. kind of put it uh-huh. in the ground and halfway up. Yeah. That way they can't uh-huh. get in. But it's super cute when you see them out there and, you know. Yeah. We don't they have also a lot around nest. here since we have boxes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. When they make their little nests in our, you know, in the garden, mm-hmm. it's so cute yeah. when the little uh-huh. babies are running around. The little babies are there. Whoa. I mean, they got to eat too. So that's what. That's what we say. They got to eat too. <laughs> so we, we have enough to go around, you know? <laughs> yeah. I know. That's crazy. If I even attempted like a vegetable garden or anything, I'd have to build. Like the people that have them around here have really tall chicken wire fences uh-huh. to keep the deer out. I mean, I had deer eat a rhododendron. Oh, wow. Jeez. There's like too many of them. And they use our yard. Like, a, um, there's a mother that leaves her fawns in there. Like, so in the early spring, we just, they just chill in our yard. Like, oh. she leaves them there for the day. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. It's so, like, it's, there, we didn't have this many when I, when we moved in, you know, a million years ago. But, um, there, there's been, you know, new houses in the area so yeah now they're just they're just suburban dwelling deer now right <laughs> we actually had a lot of bunnies when we first moved in here but we have a lot of foxes lately oh so if you <laughs> we hear the death scream sometimes oh no like terrible that's so sad well foxes sound foxes sound terrible anyway like yeah mating season like which was like recently uh-huh. you know like three in the morning oh geez like they're killing each other out there my dog is losing his mind oh my gosh <laughs> no oh no I, we don't see we rarely see fox. like I, yeah i've seen maybe one or two but there has been like deer or not deer um bears mm-hmm. bear sightings oh, oh you get bear yeah we not in bear. our like uh-huh. our neighborhood is like divided up into villages and uh-huh. one of the other villages is like surrounded by woods and uh-huh. they have seen deer bear. or not deer bear in bear. their um village so yeah it's still really close you know like a uh uh-huh. like a quarter half mile away so right right yeah I, that's I, funny i definitely don't want to see a bear in my backyard <laughs> <laughs> we we have had a bear like a few years back a bear wandered into Delaware. Like they think it was like from Maryland or something. Uh-huh. Cause we don't have bear, but like Pennsylvania, you know, not too far away though. There was some black bear and in Maryland. And, uh, it was like, it was a whole, it was, <laughs> it was the Della bear. Della okay? bear. <laughs> and yeah, somebody made an Instagram. He was in the city. He was everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh but he wasn't far from me he was like he was at my aunt's they, they they saw him in my aunt's neighborhood which is not far but yeah it was funny but but we don't have that's one thing we don't have bear thank goodness <laughs> yeah no way i couldn't imagine or like 
The people that live in Florida that have to deal with like alligators? I, I no way. I can't. There's no way. There's there's crocodiles there too. Or yeah, whatever and, those. And all kinds of other stuff. Well, there's both. Yeah. And cuz <laughs> I can't remember his name, but there's a man. He's like on TikTok and Instagram and he's like he'll like be eating something, he'll go, "What's going on out here?" Like and he'll just show clips of like alligators and weird stuff going on in Florida. And he's like, "Oh, got to get out my phone." Jeez. <laughs> and you know, he's they got a lot of stuff going on down there. No, no, thank no you. No way. <laughs> There's just no way. I, I, those are, those, no, no, I just can't even imagine. <laughs> I couldn't. I would not want to go swimming or, you know, like any of that stuff. No way. Nope. No. So crazy. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh. I saw a, um, a post this week about um, an artist who was commissioned by Taco Bell to do paintings. Like This was probably like the early 2000s. And mm-hmm. there are people that have like stolen or are stealing them. I don't know if they're still up like in the stores, but he's like a, he's a famous <laughs> artist. And he was commissioned okay. to do some of this, like, Basquiat-type artwork. Well, people mm-hmm. are taking them and selling them on eBay. And I was like, let me... So they're stealing them from Taco Bell. Yes. Stealing them <laughs> from Taco Bell. And listing them on, like, eBay and Macari. So I was like, well, are they, like... You know, are they doing that whole like, oh, it's listed for this much, you know, because you can list it for a million bucks. So I went and looked it up and they are selling like most of them are selling like between two and five hundred dollars. And there is one that sold on June 10th. When is that? Oh, that was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Well, a couple days ago for you guys Uh watching. But look at it. It sold for nine thousand $999. $999. Stop. No, $9,999. Yes, let me see if I can share the picture. I'll share it on here. But it Ta- is... People are thieving from Taco Bell. What's the name of the artist? His name is... uh, I think it's Mark Smith or something like that. Some Some hmm. name like that. Here it is. Let's see. Share it. <laughs> Yep. There it is. Right there. That's what it looks like. Can you see it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. I can't see that's you crazy. anymore. But yeah, that's the um the artwork and that's the artist. So yeah. It says yeah, he was commissioned <laughs> in the early two thousands. So people are selling them. So so it's it's been hanging up in Taco Bell since then. In certain Taco Bells, I guess. I guess. Is that is that an original one or is it just a print? Like, is that original artwork that was hanging well, up in a Taco Bell? I'm assuming. No, well, I'm assuming it's just a print. You know. Yeah. Not an original, uh-huh. but because they all, you know, they all looked the same. But the one right. yesterday. But I guess there's you can't get the print anywhere else because it's in Taco Bell. Yeah, because it was commissioned specifically <laughs> for Taco Bell. But it's right. Yeah, right. the one that sold yesterday. I can't believe it says rare 2003 Taco Bell painting by Mark Smith, large size for $9,999 free, but free shipping, free shipping. So, (laughs) well, Hey, that's a bargain. I know, but I I mean, so, I mean, is it, do they know that it was stolen? I mean, could it be a franchise that closed and they just, yeah, I think, you know, some gave it away and they just, you know i'm sure it's a little bit of well yeah i guess i can't assume people are stealing them but i'm sure like employees are involved and people are gonna steal them now right if they can (laughs) find them steal them now right yeah if it was from 2003 i'm sure a lot of Mm -hmm. um taco bells have been remodeled since then you know yeah now they see and if if uh, you know and if it's just going in the garbage or 
Yeah. You know, like I said, a franchise closed or something. Mm-hmm. It could be. Yeah. I thought that's I was crazy. I thought I saw I mean, it's that. A cool, it's a cool looking thing. And it, and it says Taco Bell at the bottom. <laughs> oh, it does say Taco Bell at the bottom. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. I thought I saw that it said that they were interviewing. Oh, yeah. It says, <laughs> I'm real nervous about this, says so and so, the eBay seller. Um, he said that he got them. He goes, I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but the gentleman I purchased it from renovates Taco Bells. So that's how he acquired those. Yeah. Acquired. So, <laughs> I mean, he probably, it was probably going in the garbage. Right. I'm sure. So, I mean, you know, hey, can I have these? Yep. I know. Have you <laughs> ever, have you ever taken anything from a fast food place? No, not no. today. I, no. You know what? I'm sure we're kicking ourselves for not taking those McDonald's ashtrays <laughs> from back in the day. I know, right? From I back know. in the day. Oof. I know. I can't remember when, it- <laughs> when I was, um, I had to have been in like, high, maybe like middle school, high school age. We had a McDonald's at yeah. the um, the end of our street, like mm-hmm. whatever. And uh, we would go there. And I remember that they used to have the big clings that you would put on the windows that would like advertise the price of the cheeseburgers and stuff like right. that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I took one of the clings off and I hung it in my, <laughs> in my bedroom. <laughs> but, that was, it's probably a fortune now. I know. And <laughs> it was like, um, you know, it was advertising the cheeseburgers. So I can't imagine what it was like 29 cents, 39 cent cheeseburgers. Yeah. 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 I wish I had yeah. it. I wish I had it. That's hilarious. I know. No, I never took I never took anything from a fast food. <laughs> I know those <laughs> stupid ashtrays, man. Oh, that cling would, would go for. You wrap that around pool noodle. <laughs> Somebody buy it. Exactly. Roll it on up. <laughs> Stick it in a poster. Stick it in a poster tube. <laughs> I know. That's so funny. I know. So now I want to go get I Taco never- Bell. Get a bean I know. burrito. I keep I keep getting a commercial on I think I was watch uh oh I was watching reruns of Modern Family on Peacock mm-hmm. and I keep getting a Taco Bell commercial and it's like it's a very serious commercial about how she's working very hard and I don't know, like she was like in school or did some anyway, Taco Bell is there for her because she can afford it. It was like, but it was very serious. I'm like, is this for real? It's the funniest (laughs) commercial. I'm like, what? What? Taco Bell is, you know, I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I like Taco Bell. We used to eat there a lot Uh because it's down the street from where we worked when Drew and I worked together. Mm -hmm. We ate there, but my that was a 20 something year old stomach it wasn't right <laughs> 50 i mean i'll still eat there but i can't do it like daily <laughs> i guess they're trying to compete with like um chick-fil-a's you know you know I benefits know. and you know don't they have all kinds of benefits at chick-fil-a like uh, like reim- school reimbursement and health care yeah and... they do different things yeah uh-huh. yeah they're just trying to like pop on that well, you get that for sure day off on Sunday. <laughs> That's true. I'm sure Taco Bell is not going to close down on Sunday. They need that um, Saturday night overflow from going out to the bars. They 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 need that <laughs> one to to three p.m. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's when they make all their money. <laughs> exactly. Sunday morning breakfast burrito. <laughs> I know. I think that's so that- funny. That so Taco Bell art. Well, if you're something to look out for, totally, it might be in oh, the back a of big, your goodwill. Big Bolo, I big know. Team. That's I know. Cra- that's so crazy. That's so crazy. Mm-hmm. I know. That's it, guys. That's what, we should yep. end it right there. Everybody, stop and go out and look for some Taco Bell go, art. Right. Go, go look for Taco Bell art. Go get yourself a whatever taco <laughs> i don't know i'm like trying to think of a taco bell thing it's crunch wrap supreme 
There you go. Yep. Go get yourself one. Yep. So what do you think? We're flipping out? <laughs>